While I was working on finishing up the hard combat achievements, I was also working on finishing up more group focused combat diaries. Team tasks during the day and wildy bossing for hard diaries late at night. Which brings me to an interesting question for you guys. What tasks or types of tasks do you think are the most annoying? For me, team tasks are the most annoying and time consuming by far due to needing to set up a plan with people and then you have to wait for people to show up and plans sometimes get cancelled and you can only practice when everybody's ready which means that you have a lot less time in a day to actually practice. A lot of team tasks require very experienced teammates which makes it even harder as you have to be picky about who should join. A double whammy. There are surprisingly a lot of group tasks mainly in Chambers of Xerix and Theater of Blood. There are 9 Chambers group tasks and all of the Theater tasks are basically group tasks, which is a big chunk of the combat achievements. This video will be covering all of the chambers tasks that were left with a bunch of the group stuff. There will be a part 2 that will cover a lot of the theater team tasks, which I will tell you now is even more annoying. There are plenty of soul tasks that are annoying like no prayer loss, fight caves, or no damage taken bandos, but at least you can keep doing it without having to wait and plan meticulously with other people. Let's talk about Chambers of Xerix group tasks now. The annoying ones are the team speed run tasks. There are 3 man and 5 man size speed tasks for masters and grandmasters for both normal and challenge mode version. Personally, the 3 man tasks weren't too bad for either version since you only had to plan with 2 experienced players. The 5s are the real doozy because you have to plan it with 4 other people. Luckily, the normal Chambers 5 man grandmaster task wasn't too bad. The 5 man challenge mode grandmaster time of 25 minutes was actually annoying as hell because team composition mattered a ton. Our team had 2 Iron Man which made prepping potions super confusing and we had to spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to best maximize each teammate. A team of mains is a lot simpler as one person would make potions for the entire team and catch up after using the logout trick to reach the next floor. But Iron Man restrictions in chambers made it really annoying. I couldn't prepare potions for the other Iron Man, and both Iron Mans couldn't prepare at the same time either because we would not make the time if the runes were lacking one attacker at Vanguard Room. So the solution to our problem was to have one person prep, which was me, and the other Iron Man would not prep the entire raid. And they would instead pick up food from the boss rooms and keep advancing forward. Let's talk more in depth about the 5 man challenge mode and how the teamwork strategy plays out with 2 irons on the team. In a challenge mode cox, you have to clear all 13 rooms in a predetermined order and there's a total of 4 floors. On floor 1, Tekton starts off the raid. The Iron Man has to get the Tekton kill to pick up the overloads so that we can all overload for the first floor in vanguards. If irons didn't get overloaded, we'd have to reset and try again. No prep iron picks up an overload and a prayer enhanced potion as well for Vespula on floor 2. I pick up a restore and an overload just so I can drink a dose for the rooms coming up and drop the remaining overload for the rest of the team. After crab room I would kill scavengers to get 4 planks to make a decent bank and enough secondaries to make enough restores, brews, enhance and overloads for the rest of my team and myself. Ideally, I want to finish gathering right around Ice Demon fight begins so I can contribute to the fights. After clearing Ice Demon shamans, I would pick up the seeds and go straight into preparing potions super fast. Knowing the exact amount to make is critical because every second counts, so after a few attempts, I figured out a good amount of each potion to make for my teammates. Other Iron keeps the second overload potion so that she survives the room with the rest of the team, fully boosted. While prepping, the rest of the team goes down to floor 2 and starts vanguards. Once I'm done preparing, Vanguard's living room and Fispila should be dead and I should join up with my teammates around the Fispila room and commence fighting. Irons cannot relog to meet up with teammates fast as all my potions will actually not count as mine anymore when I log back in. So instead, I gotta just run all the way to the next floor and catch up. The rest of the raid goes as normal, everybody should have enough supplies to go through the rest of the rooms and beat Ulm in under 25 minutes. Nobody dying, it's free, bro! Yo, good job, boys. Oh, God. That was... That prep is such a hard... I know it was, dude. <laughs> that shit was so ass. It, it's the hardest thing so far that I've done.
Let's talk about the normal chambers 5 main Grandmaster time. So that one was way easier than challenge mode just because you didn't need to learn really any sweaty new strats for it. We all just ran the raid almost quite normally. I didn't even need to get overloads as an Iron Man either. I just ran the entire raid with like an imbue hard, super combat, range bots. And I still made the time and only took us two tries. So it was way easier, way, way easier. Just a matter of whether you had a T-Bow and whether you guys were experienced at raiding, generally speaking. That was pretty much it. It's all good, because we got the Grand Rush time done. Only took two and a half tries. Poggers. Yay! A Grandmaster team task that doesn't take hours to do. Yay. <laughs> Uh, well, we also did all of these with the same people for the other tasks, so it helps to have the synergy. Ah. The second hardest group task for Chambers is definitely the three-man challenge mode raid speed time, which is to do it in 27 minutes for Grandmaster. That one, we kind of got lucky just because uh, you'll see very soon why, but... Uh, mainly, the annoyance part is the whole resetting aspect. Uh, I'm the only Iron Man, which means that to have a proper start, I have to get the overloads again from Tekton in the first room. But there are two mains, so the odds were against me. So it made going for attempts a bit annoying because I would have to reset a ton. And it kind of sucks having to reset, you know, because it's just me being an Iron Man. It's kind of lame that the mechanics like that. But... Yeah, otherwise, it was just mostly just getting synergy together as a team and just, yeah, you know, making sure we were getting good DPS in uh, every room. No weird prep strat, we just no prep the whole thing, so it just was a matter of knowing how to DPS each room properly. Oh, we're gonna get it. Oh, yeah, I hit. Sweet. Okay, I got it. Sweet. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, okay. Um, am I gonna die? <gasps> one inch speed. One inch speed. Yeah, alright, sounds good. Okay, so we are only about three minutes behind this time. Yeah, three minutes. Three minutes and 25 seconds behind. Twenty seconds. I'm not hitting. Dude, I'm not hitting. I'm not hitting right now, though. I'm hitting, I'm hitting, I'm hitting. Big hits, oh, big hits, big hits. Big. I got oh, it. We did it. 26.59. We did it. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, dude. One, <laughs> One second. second. Oh, my Let's God. Go. Dude, I wasn't oh hitting, and then God. I started hitting. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. I literally yeah, have good popped work. off in, like, the last Jesus. Good, good, job, good job. Good job. God damn. Good job. That was fucking close. Oh, 752 though. Oh, Jesus, man. So many zeros. Man, this is rough. I, I think I started with 3,500 uh, purple sweets before combat diaries, and now I'm at 2,500. Oh. And I'm still not done using them. Do your clues, boys. You might need it. Now that all the annoying group tasks for chambers is over, the rest is all solo. Pretty much. And that's my specialty, because we did like an entire series on that. If you're interested in that, uh, top right, we'll have a solo race specialist. But anyways, I decided to do all the ice team tasks in one go. Really uh, straightforward. I went with mage, no prayer, and also the no damage task at the same time. So this is how you do it. You just go in and out per hits, dodge the hits while you attack the boss. And yeah, it's pretty free. The next task that I did was the solo raids Grandmaster time task, which is to do it in under 70 minutes. And I've done it before on Juan Man Raid, my other series. That character has no Tebow, but we declared it. Anyways, took us quite a few uh, runs, you know. But on this account, I have Tebow and all that better gear. So I was hoping I'd get it done in one try. And I was wrong. Expectations <laughs> wasn't a disaster. It took me uh, quite a few attempts. But... It was mainly, I would say, due to the fact that I just haven't done much solo raids with endgame gear, like with max gear, at least with today's modern gear of Inquisitor and all that stuff. And yeah, I was just getting used to it, I guess. Really um, took a bit, but 
Yeah, once we did though, it, it started becoming quite natural. Alright, we got this, boys. Oof! Alright, nice. So, I actually didn't do the Vasa Tecton Fispula layout because I couldn't find one, but I did find a Guardian Vasa Tecton, which is almost the same. So, I was able to get the time quite easily with this layout. The next task is the 40,000 points solo raids task. And you can't do this normally unless you pick a large raid like I have here. Ideally, you want to have double tightropes, but I couldn't find it. It took too long, so I went with Ice Demon, Thieving, Tightrope, Extended Scale. And it's definitely doable as long as I manipulate the rooms, take my time with the rooms to get more points, which I'll talk about in a second here. So I took my time doing Ice Demon because what I did was I chopped like 5 plus inventories of Kindling, and then I just dumped it all back to back, which gave me a lot of extra points. Perfect, I can get one extra. Oh, damn, Ice Demon, dude. Look at that. That was actually awesome. Holy crap, we got so many points from that. For Fispula, I can actually damage the boss itself and constantly just bring it down a few times to get extra points as well. I almost messed up, though, because I didn't actually have any anti-poison because the boss can actually uh, poison you and it would have been over. But luckily, huh, I, I managed to evade that. Nice. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's 20k, and then I still have a Jody room, so that's gonna give me, <laughs> should give me plenty. Should give me plenty. Okay, that should be task completed. Nice. But yeah, this will let me skip the portals. The portals is basically the, the dangerous part about this task. It's basically RNG. Sometimes where the portal spawns, if it spawns way too far away, then you're not gonna make it. So we're not going to let that from happening. And guarantee this. That's still really fast. And there it is. Perfect ohm completed. And ohm was still... Oh, it's 12 minutes. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, that was nice. Oh, damn, look at that loot. The last major challenge that I had to overcome is the solo race grandmaster challenge mode time of getting this task done in under 38 minutes and this one was a bit tricky because i've never actually sped run challenge mode raids in a solo especially going for a time like this so this was quite new territory for me um there were a few main things to really uh, keep in mind uh, the biggest part is learning how to no prep with the blood fury and stuff like that and also learning how to skip the rope room. So the rope room skip is actually quite interesting. I can't super explain this. So I'd rather just show you exactly how it's done. This one is actually different from the method that I showed you for Huaman because yeah, this one is a bit trickier. So it involves a lot more timing. It has to do with your HP regening at the right time, uh, running from the right square, starting at the right HP, and clicking and timing more items than the other method. And this method was discovered by another very advanced player called Megalo Kirby, and he has a guide on YouTube, so you can look that up on YouTube. I'll actually put a link in the description so you can like learn more about that, because I can't really explain it myself. I just kind of copied it and just went with it and got it done. Uh, where's Rapid Heal? So starting at 2 HP from that tile and making sure I press the rapid heal and clicking on the entrance at the same time is super important because the goal is to run all the way to the agility room rope and by the time I finish crossing the rope the first time, right about then, when the damage all starts hitting me, my HP will regen by 1. Alright, so put on the P neck and then click both. Okay, I got it. Okay, I think we got it this time, hopefully. Oh, feels good, man. We got it. Alright, that was good. That was good. Sick. Holy shit. Okay, I can get two more hits in, so I can probably finish this off right now. Oh my god, I killed it. 100% killed it. 
Oh my days, that is so fast. Holy shit, that was so fast. <sighs> okay. 26 minutes, that's awesome. Lance, okay, I got everything. Going into the challenge ohm at 2654 means that I have 11 minutes and 36 seconds to do this ohm. With this gear, uh, with average RNG and um, good skill, it should be about like 10-ish minutes, depending on if you're Warhammer Lance, pretty much, and things like that. So Inquisitor is super good for challenge for raids because you need the Warhammer specs to land for good times at Tecton, and it's also amazing at Ohm because Lance has a crush option. So if you're using Inquisitor with Lance on crush, it's actually better than Lance on stab with Bandos offensively on Ohm because of the crush set effect and all that extra crush accuracy that you get from Inquisitor. All right, classic four to one. <laughs> with the Inquisitor though, this is so funny. I don't, I don't do this, man. I have never really done much Ohm with the Inquisitor Lance, but oof, it is doing work right now, boys. 4 HP, come on. Oh, we did it, boys. With 15 seconds left. 14 seconds left. God damn. Whoa, we did so many at once. Holy shit. Immortal Raid Team, Immortal Raider, uh, Speed Chaser, Master, and the CM. CM Soul Grandmaster, holy shit. Damn, dude, 14 seconds left, bro. Oh my goodness. If Vasa wasn't good, we would have been screwed, dude. And honestly, this ohm was really slow. So we are done with all the chamber stuff, and the only other team stuff we have to do is Theater of Blood, the Theater of Dread. Theater of Dread. Some of these team tasks is going to be annoying, for sure. The speedrun runs and the perfect theater, oh god, yeah. We're, we're probably going to be uh, dreading these a bit as well, and also the, for the hard mode. There's also the trio all the way to five man, so I gotta do those. Alright, three master caskets. Poggers. Last one, come on, unique item, bro, come on. No no junk, unique, here we go. Oh my days, dude, the last 20 masters, I think, has just been absolute junk. This is bare minimum shit right here. <laughs> 